the temple. This is what's known as the open court. The floor is made from basalt. The base and the pillars are made from single. This the pillar is made from a single solid piece of rose granite. Oh my God! Shaped like sick. the palm shape. The most challenging in this shape is when you start with a wide angle and then you keep getting narrower, narrower, narrower the more you go to the top mm -hmm. they have no idea what kind of a challenge is this found the, and you can see the mark of where the drill hit stopped and then kept going and precise. you can see do you have a flashlight? Yeah. I think if you stick it in there you can see the width of the blade and you can see that's how it is right there so, do you see it up in the left-hand corner, where it hits the rock? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. super thin. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's it's literally as thin as the it's first mistake. Tiny, yeah. It's as thin as the first mistake. That's crazy. That's I don't I don't know one millimeter or Maybe. no less. Maybe. Right. If that. <sighs> thank you, Brian Forrester. Seriously, thank you. <laughs> so, do you see it up in the left-hand corner? Where it hits the rock, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. super thin. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's it's literally as thin as the first it's mistake. Tiny, yeah. It's as thin as the first mistake. That's crazy. That's I don't I don't know one millimeter or Maybe. no less. Maybe. Right. If that. <sighs> thank you, Brian Forrester. Seriously, thank you. <laughs> and it's all it's granite, solid granite. Uh, what's interesting here is there's a hole just like we've seen elsewhere and if you look carefully right there you can see the machine marks this is uh, rose granite and you can see exactly the lines of the marks uh, I don't know if you can see them with my finger in the way but you can see there's a line there and there and there they look to be pretty evenly spaced um, and they look to go in a circular motion. Um, very similar to what we have seen elsewhere, very smooth on the inside. I don't believe this is someone today, you know, taking a sample out or drilling in here and then later on people confusing this for, you know, ancient technology. I, I think this is original. I think this was done a long time ago, but the question becomes how? Because again, you know, you can see the machine marks right there. It's pretty impressive. Hmm? Many of the Egyptologists, or I can say, let's say tour guide, they don't know who wrote such things. Okay? But if you ask any of those people here... And it's so smooth on the inside. Yeah. That's crazy. Right before the Holy of Holies, wow. to your right hand. Mm -hmm. So when you go, you see... Huge. It's like this big. But the blade, the blade. Tomorrow to Abu Sin, inshallah, I'm gonna show you also another marking of the circular saw mm -hmm. that shows that this circular saw was at least five meters wide. Wow. We don't 15 feet wide. Right. The same like the one in the museum. There is no doubt. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, and the edge, yes. Mm hmm. The, yeah, sinking, you... the, the sinking edge here will tell you how thick the blade is. That's how we understand. Wow. Even the, the blade will be uh, less than that because the, like the stone that's eaten away. Just the amount know, of... Go, this size of drill or this type of drill, we didn't have uh, like this 20 years ago. Yeah. So we had that long... Uh, right. Uh, ...weapon. Look, How do you no polish way. that? You know what I mean? If today that requires a good amount of work. <sighs> now, here, here's something. You can see that the lines here, they're not perfect. They're not straight. You can see right, that the guy, the guy really like struggled to go right here. So to me, this means this is someone working on it after. You know what I mean? He's, I mean, look after at... After they polished it? At, well, I would just say after maybe the original statue was completed. Because you can see he's really struggling to make a straight line here. I mean... This this uh, hieroglyphic here, it's not even straight. It actually bends off to the side. And yet, look at the quality of, of the look arm piece here. here. Look at over here. Mm -hmm. look, look at these curves. Look at this curve. Yeah, yeah, look the it. curves. Exactly, exactly. No way. 
Exactly. Like look at how the whole thing is completely and totally smooth. There's mm -hmm. not a, and look at one. how it's cracked like this. Granite doesn't crack no, like this from weathering and heat. M my understanding. You no, know, I'm not a stone it's, worker, it's but the same. Maybe it's the same, you know, key, like type as the other. But just look at that. Look at. Look at the curvature. I mean, you're right. That's, it's. Look at this. This is very similar also to what you see in Peru. Mm -hmm. But here it's in the ground. There's not much there on the ground. Most of what's there is in the... So, there is more complicated things than that. But this is a nice example because you can see that designing the stones, I'm not just designing two. You know, to think about this, I need to think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this one, for example. It's very intelligent. This one is connecting with one, two, three, four, five, at least five, five pieces around it. And like how a piece of it is sinking here, and this one. Is. So when you look at it, you wouldn't know actually which direction they were going. Mm -hmm. But it means mm -hmm. one thing. It means that they had to design a stone at the time. Yeah. Yes, they and had to cut it in forever. place. If you realize that all this was going this way. And mm -hmm. we're not even getting close to the pyramid yet. This right. Just the, the work beside it so imagine. you could never do this on on location where you're picking it from exactly no, you work it's on, impossible. on situ here because how to make the, yes. the, the, uh, and, the shots. and remember it's not just from this dimension mm -hmm. no remember also yeah. that they deepen the mother rock itself so these stones will sink in it mm -hmm. these are interlocking yeah. in a 3d not in a two dimension only like puzzle but in a 3d also mm -hmm. sinking in the stone in the mother rock so all this has shapes underneath it same Just like, like what we see here that's that's another challenge that nobody really can understand like my goodness just and the angle. whole thing is wasted yes. look, at, look at this one you can hardly see it's where the two stones meet right these are two blocks hmm? you can hardly see what kind of perfection is that mm -hmm. Granite. That is granite. Not lying stone or sand stone, so you can have layers like this. Okay? That is very solid material. Quartz are going like this, interlocking inside each other, so it doesn't make layers. It doesn't chip off like yeah. that. Unless there is something very strong, but not rain, not humidity. I mean that seam is it's paper straight virtually. Yeah. It's it's thinner than a piece of paper. That's insane. Bigger, smaller. Why? And why we have you can see from the beginning you can see that looks like rectangular and then mm -hmm. square and then rectangular. Mm -hmm. That kind of this design is strange. Mm -hmm. See? Why it's not just a big block, um, the same size, the same direction. Some, again, the Egyptologists are giving you the truth, but in, in, we need to fix it a little bit. They say this is the perfect example against earthquakes. Mm -hmm. So earthquakes, vibration, so it is not earthquakes, it's vibration. So the place was vibrating. And that is the best style to protect the walls from such vibrations. But it seems that it wasn't very good protection because we can see all the layers, the outside layers. And tomorrow we're gonna to see how the stone used to look like before. This is maybe will tell us a little bit. Look, why this is the only one still have the surface? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's so... So flat. <laughs> like this and closing my eyes and suddenly you put me in, in brew, I will see the same thing. Mm -hmm. We according to uh, Brian the same knobs you can see those Yes. Yeah. And we found those knobs also in the uh, big boxes in many places, you especially in Sardinia. From some of the cuts we see the surface. And we see the patterns of advanced machine. Oh wow! And the tube drilling machine, the finest type of white calcite crystal. 
and it's in the core of the pyramid. So if this is the radioactive mm -hmm. core, then it will be inside the pyramid. The camera doesn't want to work? No, it does. It just, I always turn it on and off real quick, just by accident. Yeah, you can clearly see the circular. Wow. It's smooth as all hell. Hundreds of years of sand. From some of the cuts, we see the surface. And we see the patterns of advanced machining. Oh, wow. And the tube drilling machine. The finest type of white calcite crystal. And it's in the core of the pyramid. This is the radioactive mm -hmm. core, then it will be inside the pyramid. The camera doesn't want to work? No, it does. It just, I always turn it on and off real quick, just by accident. Yeah, you can clearly see the circular. Wow. It's smooth as all hell. Hundreds of years of sand. Mix it with flint, and you know flint is the most solid, more than even quartzite. Look at the cuts. It cuts through flint mm -hmm. easily. If I'm using a hammer and a chisel here, I will smash it. It will be smashed, but this is a cut through, clean cut. Mm -hmm. You know, in uh, modern times, if the cortezite here, the normal one, is 7 or 7.5 in the Mohs scale, mm -hmm. but with the flint content in it on pieces of calcite like this, these are even more challenges for the tool. But believe me, if this flint is here and I am coming with a hammer and a chisel, okay, it's not going to cut the surface like that. Now it's going to be smashed. Mm -hmm. all, Unless all the tool is on. very sharp mm -hmm. and very solid. Can you imagine, man? This is a lid of a box. Oh, this is not a box. That's just a lid. Yes, That's just a lid. Wow. Imagine more than fifty tons. This is this is fifty tons. Oh my goodness, they're way bigger than I ever thought. Yeah. Single solid piece, and the lid is the piece we saw outside. This is the word Hep Uzir. Hep is the symbol that looks like a crystal. Mm -hmm. The inside. Then the way Shabaka. Now, now we need to check the surface. Because the surface from inside. Oh they made sure to be more perfect than the outside. And again, what we see here on this surface, this is without the alchemy formula that they used for the final polishing, which we will see tomorrow. If they're going to bury pool, why they finish it from inside and from the bottom? Why didn't it get so perfect like this from inside? Right. Forget about the pools. That's bullshit. <laughs> right. <laughs> why take so much time if it's just for a bowl? The symbol of all. They put a piece of paper. Where? In between the two scenes. That? <laughs> That's why I ask it. Well, one piece. Oh, it is? It's, it's, oh, yeah, it's a single solid. Oh, piece. I thought there was two scenes. No. no. Oh, my goodness. So it means that they had to cut from inside the whole way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The they had to machine it from the inside. You saw that they are like uh, constructed base oh. and walls. Yeah. Well, it was going to be much easier yeah. if, you're, if you're looking for the easy way, but it's not going to be functional. Yeah. As I was telling you about the unfinished box. If it has a crack, so it's probably not so. He could, that box without the lid, it's all one piece. It's all one piece. Yeah. But if you need something to be... Look at this.
it's sharp you know if you, if you put your finger on it here if you press it, it might cut your skin yeah wow sharp yeah these are things look at this it's not a straight line hmm? it's hardly scratches on the surface you see yeah, it's all it's work yeah yes if you but did this anywhere today you'd be fired or worse <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing here the shin where the name is supposed to be is empty Mm -hmm. That's the work of the priest. Just, oh, Igor, you want, I can prepare your name here. Right. But then the mistake comes. Now we know that the priest repaired the, uh, the writings, and that the writings itself is older than any name that was going to be added here. Mm. So, if I found Igor's name here, then all these writings were made in the time of Igor. Mm -hmm. All these books was made in the time of Igor. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's how they yeah. so how they base everything, how they date, how they relate, yeah. how they identify through the writings. So you recognize? You know, it's continuing. Mm -hmm. There is more tunnels. There is more stuff. Oh yeah, that's very deep. There's a. Oh yeah, I mean, I, it turns, it goes to the right. Yeah, Shit. they know that there could be more stuff. Wow, okay, we just have to talk about one thing, the size of these blocks. They are enormous. Yeah, because was represented the number of pieces of the God Osiris. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're all granite. Right, right. Holy shit. You know, the tunnel here is contained very light, but it's closed. Because it's flooded, right? Yeah. Okay, so these stones are granite. And for anyone to say that this is easy, they are insane. Another curious feature is if you look underneath these two square pylons here, you can see they took a little piece, almost like a three inch by one inch tall piece and inserted it in. Push it to lie down on the boat, which we have here in this place. And then the boat is going to take it. They used to dig a channel, a water channel. So during the flood season, the water used to have a chance to come all the way to here. And then the water will be carrying it all the way to Luxor or to Giza. But the crack and asking for how long you used to cut and used to make an obelisk. We have a smaller one at Karnak came from here, from this place. Belongs to Hatshepsut as well. This one is 1168 tons. The other one is 332 tons. Hatshepsut on the other one, she's saying it took seven months to get the stone here, to transport it, to take it all the way to Luxor, to erect it in Luxor. Seven months. So this, this, this is would be a four-year project. Maybe something like this. So imagine that you are one of the workers after working hard here in July or August. Oh my God, about the, the, the heat. And then while you were working, the crack happened. The crack happened. What a bad luck. Right. So the guys that work here hard and hard and hard. And then this is what happened. The crack happened to it. The, the, the hammers which they were using, which this one, they used them in a wrong way. Not in a special uh, way like the rest of the, the other guys. You're barely doing anything to it. No, I made like a little hole. <laughs> yeah, you made a little. You didn't make that. <laughs> I mean, that to that is. <laughs> Do you want to try? Give it to yeah. me. Yeah. Give me the camera, and then you can try. Nice. I mean, yeah, I'm making a hole, but how do you make the turn? How do you make the perfect smooth way? Yeah. This how is another you... thing. How to make it smooth? Get wood and put the wood next to your granite, and then burn your wood. Granite will be hot, but fresh water from the night. So, but I'm hard to 
up pressed to believe that with those diorite pounders, they were able to work in such a tight space. I mean, just look. I don't know if the shadow's too the space. How do you work in such a tight, confined area? Yeah, we hate this king. But don't forget that he is the son of God. And maybe Ra will be not happy. Right. So it's 41.75 meters tall. Almost 42 meters. And 1100 meters. 20 something pounds, I think. It would be the biggest structure ever made by man until it broke in the ancient time. And they we're gonna get it to go down there, but they'd have to cut all that out right there and all this out so that it could fit because it's gonna run into here. So have to cut all the way from here out. And then cut all the way from there out, and then somehow get it down into a boat and cruise it down during the flood season. I mean, that's just insanity. So here it is. This is the granite that's really cracked and and. Uh, I don't believe it's the product of weathering. Um, it looks really just just broken to bits. I mean, not typically how I've seen the other granite blocks. They don't usually have these stress cracks. And I mean, I suppose you can say quarrying, or they just threw them around. They blocked them. But this, these are inner cracks. These are these are into the cent into the center and out from the center of the rock. So it's not it's not typical. What's more interesting is up here is all the little pieces of, of black granite. And then you can you can just chip it off. I mean, look at this. What kind of black granite do you guys know that does this? What do you have to do to this material to get it to chip off like that? You know what I mean? Look at this. I can just crumble it in my hands. I think even easier than sandstone. In my experience here in Egypt, and does not do this. It's very, very unnatural for it to be caking like this. And uh, it's only in this area here. There's a few pieces here, a couple pieces on the ground there. And obviously what used to be part of the doorway, and you can see the doorway is flaking as well. Maybe that's why they were trying to restore it was because it was so heavily damaged from the inside. I mean, you guys, again, how 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 does granite, you know, I don't think that's typical. No expert, but I don't think that's typical. Here. So I'm going to show you. Look at this. I just crumbled that. That's black granite. 